It is clear that Alicia was loved by many. You can see that on social media. You can also see it here along Broadway where people are gathered in front of her shop with candles and flowers. People have been stopping by here all day long. From tattoos to piercings and murals, Alicia Cardenas was well known throughout Denver's greater art scene and beyond. She influenced a lot of people in a lot of places. Alicia's dad, Alfredo, spoke to reporters Tuesday morning outside his 44-year-old daughter's business, Soul Tribe Tattoo and Piercing. He says she leaves behind a child 12 years old. The news for him is still setting in. My son came by and told he heard about it online, and he came in the middle of the night and knocked on the door and told us. Alfredo is asking why. What could be the motive for this deadly rampage extending through parts of Denver and Lakewood? This one... <laughs> It's much more of a mystery. It's a really devastating loss. Luna, who now lives in France, is reacting on social media like many others who are grieving the loss of their friend Alicia. She was a very important person to uh, our community. Luna says Alicia focused on ensuring diversity in her profession. She really put in a lot of work to make sure that South American piercers uh, got the education that they needed in order to really elevate the industry. And her dad describes her as influential, someone who he says could be rough, but a real sweetheart. It's just kind of hard to be hard to go on. Now, also killed at Alicia's tattoo and piercing studio was Alyssa Gunn Maldonado. Her husband, Jimmy, was also shot and is being treated at an ICU. A GoFundMe has been created for those victims, and we have a link on our website, kdvr.com. Meanwhile, we have been seeing police officers here on Broadway with a therapy dog interacting with members of the community after this deadly violence. We're live along Broadway in Denver. I'm Michael Konoposik, Fox 31.